Alright, hi people, it's Shakes here, and I'm here to do my unboxing and review for the Power Rangers Dino Charge, um, Deluxe Dino Charge Morpher. Uh, so yeah, so let's get to the packaging. Of course, you have the picture of, um, Dino Charge Red right there with the logo. Uh, charge it up, that's where the two batteries were. It comes with a regular red battery and a black battery. So, yeah, for those two Rangers. Um, so yeah. Deluxe Dino Morpher right there, or Dino Charge Morpher, and then what you can do with the um, thing with the app. So then you get the four ways to play right there. Then on the back, you get another picture of Dino Charge Red from the series right there. I think that's from American footage. It looks like it's from American footage. I could just be wrong. I could be uh, wrong, but you know, um, it doesn't really matter. So. Yeah, so now you get a picture of the morpher when it's in action, and then um, how it works. With You lift it up by using the tail on the back, then you insert the dino charger, and then you use the tail to flip it down. Otherwise, if you want to imitate the show, you're going to have to, or at least Kiryuger, you can um, just uh, s slam it back down, which I don't think really makes much of a difference. And then you spin the uh, chamber in the middle here to activate the sounds. Uh, so yeah, all the batteries right there, and then you combine this with the sword, and then uh, it combines the form into the dino cannon. So yeah. So now here's the morpher. Uh, gotta love Sentai, because without it, we wouldn't get such cool morphers. Um, basically, yeah, it's a fucking gun. That's it. It's a gun. And, um... Yeah, uh, and this isn't entirely show accurate, but it's it's actually pretty close to the prop, or at least the Japanese version. Um, oh, even in that picture, uh, that right there is black, but on here they weren't painted. Uh, it's the same thing with the product, just like uh, the Raptor Zord being better painted in the uh, production or the promo picture that they used on the back of the box for it. It's the same thing here, but yeah, so enough of that. So, yeah, switch it on. It comes with a switch right here. Make some um, turning on noises, and then you can shoot it. Yeah, it makes uh, three different noises. So then you open it, and it'll make that sound. Take the uh, red battery, and I'm doing this. I'm holding the camera with my hand, so I have to do this one-handed. Just put it in there, and you flip this back down. switching my hand I'm holding the camera with. So yeah, it just makes that sound whenever you do that. And to eject the batteries, there's a couple buttons on each side. Just hold that, hold it down, and it'll eject the battery. So yeah, I have two of the black batteries, one from this, one from the Parasaur. So let's go with the black battery next. I kinda wish I got the pink and blue ones. And I got this, so yeah, but it's no big. You, you gotta love how there's two different um, voices, and one is definitely a voice actor from New Zealand, probably the one who played Gosei, because it says Para, well. Sorry, as we'll see, um, the other voice. Pronounces it correctly. Uh, so yeah. Now we come to the green charger, which I uh, whatever. Energize. 
written right there, it said Raptor instead of Raptor. The way the guy says Velociraptor, you know, it's like he's just pronouncing it for the first time or he's over pronunciating it just for the fact that this is a kid's toy, you know. So, yeah, and then so, yeah, um, that's basically all the functions of this, as far as I know. Um, Obviously, probably in the future, like they did with the, um, Legendary Morpher, or, yeah, Legendary Morpher, I think it was what it was called, or the Super Mega Force Morpher, uh, which had extra sound for the, um, Super Mega Silver Key, um, which was something that wasn't fixed, or wasn't said in the original Mobirat from Japan, only if you got the Legend version like I have, um, would it not make the, the questioning sound like it would... For the for the main go kaijers we could say go kaija or no go kaijer, and then um for the silver go kaijer key, whenever you put it in the morpher it would say go kaija you know like it it was confused it's like it knew that that was um that that was a go kaijer key but it wasn't entirely a hundred percent on it you know something like that um so yeah so um. This uh, morpher is, I think, pretty good. It's it's awesome for being the first uh, the first um, morpher to be the. Let's uh let's turn this off here. Um, but it's 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 actually pretty good. I I think a lot of people, or at least some people, kind of like me, were a bit um afraid since they were skipping Go Busters and they uh had material that they could easily adapt into a Power Ranger series from Go Busters into Dino Charge that they were going to use the Go Busters more first before production photos were, or toy photos were sent out. And, uh, those hopes were quick, those, um, worries were quickly dashed, I assume. Um, which I don't think that for this series, I don't believe that the, um, the Go Buster Morpher would make a lot of sense when you have this, and this is obviously going to be used with the batteries, and it's going to be primarily used. I don't unless if they shoot American footage where the Go Buster Morpher counterpart would be um in use for more than two seconds to morph. Um which let's be serious, that was for pretty much the function of all morphers, but this is obviously primarily going to be used in Dino Charge, since it was used primarily in Cure Uger. Um so yeah and um Obviously, they wanted the battery collecting gimmick for the toys, like they did in Japan. So, yeah, I'm fine with this. Uh, it's 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 a good toy for kids, and <laughs> it comes with two. Um, it comes with two of these things, instruction seat sheets. One of them's to teach kids how to use this for the main function gimmick with the chargers, and then um, the other one is for connecting it with the uh, sword to make the Dino Cannon. Um, so, yeah, um, it's, and, uh, one of them even says, don't swing this at anyone. It's just like, really? Yeah, yeah. I, I get that they want to have the warning labels on there, but kids know that this is a toy. Um, I'm, I think that's probably on there because we haven't had Nerf guns, I think, in a while, at least in the public consciousness, or at least parents are buying for kids in a while. Um... So yeah, but otherwise it's 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 a it's a decent toy and um yeah, so as far as I know all the batteries will work in this and I'm just wondering it, like I was saying a bit ago with the um Super Mega Force Morpher um which had a sound from Super Mega Force Silver um since they have that amount of foresight uh with the toys for the American version that what well, they could probably improve from Go Kaiger even though the toys were the morpher was shit. Um, about, um, like, I, I just wonder if they're gonna have the rest of the, um, charger names within this. And I'm just wondering, are they gonna release the Dayboth version of this with a new name, obviously? Um, or no, not the Dayboth, but, um, the one the Mentor and Curator used. Um,
but otherwise it's a good toy. I, I highly recommend it if you want to buy it for kids, and um, it's definitely something that um, you guys should get if you want, if you're a collector or a kid or whatever. So, um, yeah, so uh, comment, rate, subscribe, go on my channel, go on my channel, follow me on Twitter, link in the description, it's more official if you want, link in the description of that, and I'll talk to you guys more later.